I never wanted to reinvent the wheel. I never wanted to create a brand. I always wanted to have a restaurant. It just amazes me how food makes people so happy. And when I give them food, they're always saying great things about the brand. You can get a burger anywhere, but we're also building a relationship with, with each and every person that comes to our store and being part of that community. My name is Ali Lalani. I'm 38 years old. I'm a founder and CEO of Build My Burgers, located in Orlando, Florida. I've been in the restaurant industry for the last 16 years, working with multiple franchises and different brands. I always wanted to have my own business and I was looking into different franchises because my wife and I, we are big foodies and we love burgers. And so we decided we'll do a burger franchise. And we were very close in signing the deal and it didn't work out. And so we just decided that we're gonna go ahead and open our own brand and bring it to life in Orlando. Burgers, you know, even though it's so saturated, the quality is never there. If the quality is there, the affordability is not there. You're not able to customize the burger the way you like. So we wanted to bring all of these features together and we just wanted to do it in an open kitchen, in an open setting where customers could actually see their burgers being made. They could hear the sizzle, they could smell the aroma of the burger. And that's how Doma Burger was born. Initially, I had projected the business to cost $200,000. It ended up being $400,000. Out of that, we had $60,000 in savings, $68,000 in unsecured loans. We had about $150,000 in line of credit through credit cards. And then landlord had invested about $122,000 in our business to open Belmont Burgers. We started testing everything in my home kitchen, making burgers, making milkshakes. My dad was a big part of that. I gave my family a lot of food to eat. And then in December, my dad passed away. So that gave me a little bit more motivation. He was always one of those drivers where, where he was pushing me to do more. And so in January, the construction was going well. February, we found out that you know we're having a baby and we're all getting ready to open up. And then of course, in March, uh, the country shut down. Bills were piling up. I didn't have my job because everything that was planned out to leave my job and start the business, that never happened. So I was just staying at home and living off my wife's paycheck and just trying to pay all the bills that, that we could to stay afloat. It was very stressful for us to make sure that we're at least making the minimum payment to protect our credit. So it was really difficult, but one thing about me is I'm very motivated, I'm very positive. I had a vision, I had a goal. I wanted to do everything it takes to make sure it comes to life. We tried different banks and we have nice and pretty rejection letters from all of them. <laughs> We honestly never had a grand opening. We just turned the open sign on, and, and as Belmont Burgers was opening, the state of Florida was also opening at the same time. And people were just excited to get out of their house and try our food. They loved the quality of the burgers, the price of the burgers, and it was a great support from the community. The lines were out the door. In restaurant, you could be a great chef, but you don't have to be just a chef. You have to know about managing, marketing, accounting, customer service. I mean, there's so many pieces to the puzzle and everything has to work together for it to work as a whole. So definitely a challenging industry, but I like challenges. I have walked into a situation where there's a line out the door, the credit card is down, the ceiling is leaking. There's so many issues and 
I just still have a smile on my face and you just tackle it as one issue at a time and that's what keeps you going and keeps you motivated. We do cook to order burgers, chicken tenders, wings, and we do milkshakes. In dessert, we have cookie and fried Oreos. Everything is built your own. You pick your bun, you pick your meat, your cheese, then you pick your, your toppings and you pick your sauces. We're heavily focused on quality of our food. Everything is fresh, so we just start with the prep work throughout the day. I take care of customers, I do the register, I do the grill, wherever the store needs me. In the store, personally, I put in about 50 hours a week. I work about six days, but the work doesn't stop here. Once I go home, I'm working on social media, re replying to you know reviews, just working with new companies and new technology to see how we can improve the business on a daily basis. This is a 24-hour operation. I told her that if this brand does not work and there's losses involved, I don't want you to be a part of it. One person has to be the person whose credit is totally protected and assets are protected. And so that was the main reasoning behind not putting her initially from day one. Once a month, we give away free burgers to UCF students. Then we also have a discount, 50% off for all police officers. Whatever we can do to give back, we are heavily focused on that. Anyone that comes into our store in terms of like a delivery driver, like Uber or DoorDash, we make sure that they are, they are allowed to get free drinks. They don't even have to pick up the food from us. But we just understand that they are representing our brand. They're gonna go out there, they're gonna talk about our brand. And so we, we want to make sure that we, we take care of the people that are, that are taking care of us. We designed the brand from day one to look like a franchise. When we opened, customers were asking us, is this already a franchise? So that kind of kept us motivated to go into that franchise route. But because of COVID and all the challenges we had, we had to make sure that we have a perfect concept design for anyone to be able to duplicate it. Our projected growth for franchising is to open 51 stores in the next five years. So far, thankfully, we've been blessed and we have almost 60 requests from all over the U.S. Now when I look back, if someone asks me, hey, you want to go and create one more brand? I would think a lot because it, it just takes a lot out of you. Thankfully, you know, because I had a great support from my wife, my kids, my family, they kept pushing me to keep doing more and more. And that's what keeps me going every day.